My name is Mohammed Al Sheikh, and I'd like to show you the new Nokia Maps application with the new features that we've just launched in Middle East and Africa. First thing that you could do is that uh, the Nokia Maps application is a full Earth browsing solution, so I can browse the Earth. I can see from the graphic where it's day, where it's night, so I can see Australia currently is, is at night. If I press on zero, the device will tell me the last location that I had a GPS fix on. So if I start zooming in into into the map, you see the more the, you zoom in, the more information and more details you get. It's going to tell me that I'm located within that area because I don't have a GPS fix. That's what you can see from here. GPS works with satellites. I don't have a GPS fix. So uh, if I scroll out a little bit, I'll go. Over here, I find out that I'm in that, in that area. So what type of maps view do we support? One thing which was uh, available in the old maps application is the vector maps, that you have the street names and things like that. But one thing that I could add now, what we added is a 3D view, which is taking a 3D view of the whole area that you're currently in. And the second thing is satellite view. So zooming out a little bit, I get the satellite view of Sheikh Zayed Road in that case. And I can go even into a hybrid mode, which will combine both satellite images and maps into one. The satellite imagery is not real time, obviously. Sorry? The satellite imagery is not real time. It's not real time, no, no. It's saved on the server and then it's being shared with all the people. So that's one thing about the different maps. One thing that you could do, I could, something we call point of interest, I can enable within my map. I can enable within my map the points of interest that I'd like to see. For example, I'm interested in seeing what's... I want to see on my map, for example, all the public attractions, uh, all the cinemas, and all malls and markets. So you define what and all restaurants. Back, you'll see that the map now will have more details. So this wasn't there before. That's this we call point of interest. And if I go there, you'll see that it tells me that's the courtyard where we're currently located. And if I go into details and show, show details, it's going to tell me the name of the place, courtyard, the address, the phone number, the category and the latitude and longitude of that, of that place. So this you can use, actually, I can actually call from within the application the courtyard directly. So that's something, so meaning if you're inviting some friends to courtyard, you could send this and that's a good thing. I can start sending this information via an MMS to, to okay. friends. And then they actually know where you're located. So if I want to create my own landmarks, like say, I want to meet my friends at the beach. Please, but here, yeah. the information that you have in the museum here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Who, who provides you? Who provides you? On but each? You, you, buy, you buy it? On, uh, I'll tell you how it works. Okay. We, we work together with map providers. Okay, NAFTEC. Okay. NAFTEC okay. has okay. all the mapping information yes. and also provides the points of interest. Okay. So they don't only okay. provide the map info, but all the related and anything that you see on here related as information, whether it's streets, routes, points of interest is provided by by the map provider okay, okay. now they do everything for you they know for, they are the global one of the global map providers and we're currently in the process of acquiring now so what you can do is that you can set points of interest yourself yes let's say i'm i'm, I'm living here as an as an example i add this to my places and i call this home or let's call it beach Beach home. Okay, so it will create instantly a point of interest that I can start sharing then again with friends and family, so they know where I'm located, what I'm doing, and so on. Okay. So that's that's for the mapping and how the map works. One one feature that we added, and I'm not going to do give you an example from Dubai. It works in Dubai, but but I want to show you. Let's stick to Dubai as an example. Let's say I want to go from this point of interest that I just created. Sorry. I want to go from this point of interest that we just created, which is called Beach Home. 
I want to go, I'm going to add this place to my route. I want to drive from the beach home to... to the Nokia office in Dubai. I'm defining two points, bring me from A to B while in drive mode. And then I'm going to say, show me the route. And the device together with the, with the software will start calculating the route. And it's going to tell me from here to here, driving, you need, it's, the distance is 11.9 kilometers and it's going to take you 20 minutes. And in order to show how this works, I can go uh, options, simulate, and the device will simulate to me. In Arabic voice guidance, so that's something what, that we're saying here, that you can use in your mobile device in order to navigate through streets in Arabic language, in French language, in Urdu, in Farsi, and in English. Could you run the same thing in Urdu? Let's, let's do that, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. So let's click stop here, I'm going to options, go to tools, change my settings, go to navigation, change the voice guidance. It's downloading the latest. Okay. Back. It's gonna ask me if, I, if, if uh, you want to download the voice guidance. Yes. It's downloading the voice guidance using the operator network. This is this is for free. Okay. So you don't pay anything for downloading the voice guidance, and we have several several. Videos. Once it's downloaded, we will restart the whole routing again in order. Okay. Okay. And then you, of course, understand better. Yes. Okay. Good. <laughs> Perfect, so Urdu, and then please wait, this operation may take a few moments. What's happening, downloaded the files and now it's installing them. Once it's installed, okay. we can start. So what it means is that you can use navigation anywhere globally, in any country, in the language that you prefer. Without needing to buy any additional memory card, without needing to pay anything extra, you already have it. So, okay, now it's Urdu. Let's start the, let's go from, From the courtyard, I'm going to add that to the route. Options at a route point to the beach house, beach home that we created. Options show route. And that's going to calculate. Okay, so it's 4.5 kilometers, 4.4 kilometers. Options simulate. And then navigation will start in Urdu. Is that Urdu? Yes. Perfect. Is it well spoken? <laughs> yes. Perfect. So the changing process of the language took less than a minute. Okay. So I can download any language that I want. And now what we're doing, we're navigating in Dubai in Urdu. So I can change the, the view of the map. So I have an error view, which only Dels tells me the distance. And then I, I can go from into bird's eye view, which is a little bit different than the two I can also change from day view to night view, if I'd like. I can here you have all the options that you can actually do. So I could go night mode, I could repeat, I could change the volume, I could have the root information. Let's say root info. Okay. And you can always change the volume, the matter you requested. So I can, if I'm in the car, I don't hear anything. I can. So that's Urdu. That's Urdu. Okay. It's Urdu. So let's 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 go let's go to another city, Dubai. You say okay, so it only should be working here. But let's say you are traveling to. I'm using the Vienna example because I love the, the whole concept. I was last week in Vienna and I used navigation in Vienna in Arabic and it was perfect. So let's say... So you're going to the first time to Vienna and you need to go from your hotel. That's the hotel that you're saying. At Surut to a different route point from the map. I need to go from the hotel to to this hotel. Tell the device show route, calculating route. 
So it tells me it's 1.8 kilometers, two minutes drive. And then let's see if, if it works here and I can promise that it does. So, so what we're showing here is that you could navigate in any country globally in the language that you prefer with your mobile device. And that's Mapsu.